officer. I have a commander wrong that I want to write. I have done something bad. Oh crap, I just realized something. Hi, I want to turn myself in. What was that? I want to turn myself in. Turn yourself in for what, man? You're not wanted for anything. Hey, man. I did something really bad. And I just... Can you just arrest me? I, I'd feel much better if I went to jail. I have a guilty conscience. Hold on, say that again? I had to turn up my game volume. God dang it! I have a really guilty conscience, man. I just... I'd feel better if I went to jail. I'd, I don't know if I could, like, live with it, man. I really messed up big time. You want to go to jail? Yeah, I, yeah, I'm turning myself in, man. Um, alright. How long did you want in jail? I, I messed up, dude. I messed up, dude. I messed up big time. Alright. When, when I was in the third grade, I cheated on my math test. <laughs> I'd be... <laughs> How, how long do you think I should be punished for, man? For man? It, for it was my best friend, too. Friend too. For cheating on my math test in math the third grade. You what? <laughs> I cheated on my math test in the third grade. You you cheated on your math test in the third grade? Yeah, man. It's been bothering me ever since. I just want to get it off my chest. I don't I don't feel good about it. Well, I don't, I don't really know if jail time would exactly be the best thing for you. <laughs> Uh, cause well, you, you cheated on a math test. Maybe if you took like a uh, some like barbed wire or something and like whipped yourself in the back, <laughs> maybe that would be a better punishment than jail time. Cause you might meet a uh, pretty mean guy named Bubba inside jail, and he may do things to you that you may not want to ever experience. Well, I just want to make well, sure I I, I'm never sure gonna cheat on a math test again, dude. It was, it was a pretty traumatic pretty time, traumatic in, my time in my life. They called my mom and. Well. If you keep insisting a jail time, I mean, I can send you to jail for, you know, like five years. I, Jesus, um, <laughs> can I get, like, can I get like parole, and parole and have, like, one year? Have like one year? Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know, man. Man, man. I feel like the math test cheating was pretty, you know, pretty absurd. It, it was pretty absurd, dude. I, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can deal with it, dude. But I I don't, I don't know about yeah, five years. I send you for five years, and you know, if uh, you know you do good in there, then they can put you on for parole, and you can get out in one year. I'm out. I I think I like that idea, Robert. You've really changed my life. Thank you. Thank All right. Well. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Rob. I can now, I can now sleep peacefully. Sleep peacefully. Uh, alright, well, before I send you to jail, I am gonna have to search you and seize your weapons so you don't have any, uh, you know, like, bad things in jail, so you... The, not, the only weapons I have is a calculator and a pencil. Yeah, I understand, man. I understand. You can take my calculator. You probably don't want to go, like, you know, shanking anybody with a pencil either. Yeah, 82. I wouldn't use my favorite number two pencil to shank someone. It's... You're not even talking in game. Uh, well, apparently, this guy. This man is a witness to my crime. I insisted that he just. You know, take the punishment upon himself, but he insisted that he wanted jail, so he has the possibility of meeting Bubba. It's not good when you meet Bubba. I have no idea where he was. You're not talking in game. See him anymore. I think he pulled the Houdini. You're not your mouth is moving. You're still not talking again. You too. Yeah, you too. 